Hi guys, it's Ardik. Last week was very terrifying. If you'll see small cap index, so it went down by approximately seven percent, right? And if you are holding a small cap stock and the small cap index is down by seven percent, then probably your stocks would be somewhere down by between fifteen to twenty percent. So I'll tell you what happened with me. So I was holding couple of stocks. I was holding Zagal. I was holding uh, National Lum. It is a large cap stock, but yeah, I was holding that. I was also holding some another stocks, other stocks. So on this day, which was your, I guess Tuesday. Now on Monday, my hundred percent capital was invested, but on Monday. Three four stocks hitted trading stop loss. So what I do is, so you know, I'm a momentum trader. So I buy a stock and I exit it after a fifteen to twenty percent move. So what happens is, like I exit half quantity and remaining half I keep on holding until unless the trend is going on. So what happened was, uh, there was some stocks like Zagal. So I entered Zagal around here. And I did it half here, half I was still holding. And apart from this, there was FSL, so I bought it here. There was Power India, I entered here, I exited some here, some I was holding. But on Monday, from that hundred percent capital invested, it decreased to thirty percent. On Tuesday, the remaining one two stocks they were be out, oh yeah, and it came down to zero. So right now I am like in total cash, but the point is, the market fell down by around eight percent, but I am only down by somewhere between two to three percent, which means that my drawdown is comparatively less to the market. So that is what shows that you are a good trader or not. So let's say if you are a trader and market is down by eight percent, but your capital, your portfolio is down by let's say ten percent, fifteen percent, twenty percent, then you are doing something wrong. Okay, and that is the reason that I say that trading is less risky than market, less risky than investment. Why I say this? Because see, investing may सिंपल होता है दैट यू बाय एंड होल्ड एंड अगर आप निफ्टी के ड्रॉडाउन की बात करो तो निफ्टी व्हिच इज अ लार्ज कैप इंडेक्स उसका ड्रॉडाउन भी अराउंड 35 40% का है इन द पास्ट बट एज अ ट्रेडर अगर यू नो हाउ टू मैनेज द रिस्क एंड एवरीथिंग तो यू कैन कीप दिस ड्रॉडाउन टू लाइक समवेयर इन द रेंज ऑफ 10 टू 20% डिपेंडिंग ऑन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रिस्क डू यू टेक ओके सो एज अ ट्रेडर यू कैन कीप योर ड्रॉडाउन कंपैरेटिवली लेस एज कंपेयर टू द इन्वेस्टिंग and obviously you can keep the returns also on the higher side because you are you know entering into the high alpha stocks which i was to do okay so i hope aapka portfolio save hoga safe hoga and uh, i hope that aap log apni trading journey se ek investing journey par shift nahi hue honge okay moving on to the next part of this video so now i'll be sharing you some stocks which are in my watch list for the next 10 to 15 days but before that i want to show you my tools which i used to find out so i was you know somehow expecting that why because the small cap you know index the small cap breadth was in a red zone only so jab ye red mein hota it indicates that mere ko apna risk kam rakhna hai why i was invested because there were some stocks which i was holding from the last month jab ye uh, blue tha so is wajah se i was invested little bit but yeah my risk which i was taking was 0.3% on a trade now talking about the market to market abhi ek aise scenario par hai jahan se a small reversal may come what do i mean by small reversal jaise abhi market niche ja raha hai so it might go up from here uh, but a small reversal why i said small reversal because if i talk about this uh, long term breadth which i follow to see whether i should be in the market or stay in the cash so this week only this red line has crossed this blue line after 
approximately one and a half year. So last time when I did was sorry, yeah, last time when it did this was in ninth of January two thousand twenty three. So after one point eight years, one year and eight nine months, it has done that again. So probably last time जब ऐसा हुआ था तो it was in a downtrend for like two to three months. So probably ऐसा देखने को भी मिल सकता है. But the point is कि अभी एक short term reversal जरूर देखने को मिल सकता है. Why? Because the short term breath is the matter of stream. Okay. So there are some stocks which are in my watch list for the next week. So I will be discussing that now. Just a disclaimer before discussing the stocks that this is not a tip or anything like that. Uh, just try to learn from this video that how I am trading, so that you can implement these concepts into your trading. Because if you are here to copy, you will lose all your money. I don't think so. It's a clear disclaimer. हो सकता है. Because सबका risk appetite अलग है. सबका मार्केट में ट्रेड करने का तरीका अलग है सबका होल्डिंग पीरियड अलग है सबका कैपिटल भी अलग है सो या यू कॉन्ट कॉपी एनी बडी सो द फर्स्ट स्टॉक विच इज इन माई वॉच लिस्ट इज एफ एस एल सो द रीजन वाई इट इज इन माई वॉच लिस्ट इज रिलेटिव स्ट्रेंथ सो वेर एवर मार्केट गोज डाउन एंड योर स्टॉक्स आर नॉट गोइंग डाउन दैट इज अ पॉइंट दैट दो स्टॉक्स इज टेलिंग यू That yes, I am better than the other stock. Why? Because वो relative strength है. Relative strength का simple सा मतलब होता है that your stock is performing better than the market. So if I talk about तो जो F S L है, that is a somehow a mid cap company. I guess so. Let's check what is the. So it's somehow a mid cap company. So if you will open the mid cap index, and if you will see, तो mid cap index अपने All time high say from September, it is down by around nine percent. But if I will talk about FSL, this is only down by seven percent from its all time high. And us may say, if I will talk about, so uh, that mid cap index is going down from September. If you look at September, so where the index is down by seven percent, this stock is up by around four percent, which is showing that this stock is relatively Stronger than the market, okay. So this that is the first reason. Second reason is that you can see here that abhi on twenty third of October also, when market niche aaye the, this stock went up by around twelve percent with a very good volume, which is showing that somebody is you know entering into this stock and it is sustaining above its moving average. So these are like two three reasons that why this stock is in my watch list. And if I'll show you the fundamentals of the stock, you can see here that. This stock is increasing its operating profit year on year. So, ऐसा कोई बहुत ज़्यादा growth नहीं है, but 2023 में it was doing 858 crores, और 24 में it is doing 995 crores, which is a you know an increase of around 30 percent, which is uh, around 25 percent, which is again a positive sign. Second stock, which is my watchlist, is Ganekos. So, अभी recently इसमें there was a very good uptrend, I would say, or a very good momentum. so i somehow miss this momentum but there are some members in my community who captured this trade according to tie strategy why i missed it because my money was into some other stocks so yeah uh, because see the capital is not unlimited capital is limited so you can put in some stocks only right so you have to accept that fact that you cannot capture every move in every stock at every time frame because you have a limited capital and everything whatever let's say your capital is 10 cr 100 cr that is still limited right you cannot put that into every stock but yeah there are some people in the community who captured this momentum but the reason this stock is still in my watch list is that yaha par jab momentum aaya the volumes were very good and abhi when it is going down the volumes are not at all coming in and it is still trading above its moving average right plus it is a relative strength why because जहाँ मार्केट इतना गिरा ये स्टॉक कंपैरेटिवली उतना नहीं गिरा सो या दिस इज द रीजन दैट व्हाई दिस स्टॉक इज इन माय वॉचलेस नेक्स्ट इज रैगल तो आपको पता ही है अभी लास्ट फ्रॉम मंडे टू फ्राइडे सारे स्टॉक्स कितने गिरे बट दिस स्टॉक इट इज ओनली डाउन बाय नाइन परसेंट नाउ नाइन परसेंट इज नॉट ओनली बट लुकिंग एट दर स्टॉक्स तो बाकी के जो स्मॉल कैप स्टॉक्स है दे आर लाइक डाउन बाय ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड सो ऑन and uh, this stock is you know around its moving average so agar yahan se ek push isko milta hai so that will be a uh, one more positive sign that 
this strong this stock is trying to sustain above its moving average so this is the third stock and this is the reason that why this is in my watch list for this power india again similar reason like ganekos so if you will see a very good momentum was there in the stock here so if i'll open the weekly time frame see the momentum was really nice over here and uske baad abhi ye niche gira and it has fell down without any volume if i'll go on a daily chart i guess mera moving average galat khula hua hai it should be 20 moving average to maine jo abhi tak aapko bataya i guess usme ek problem hoga so yeah sorry so ye stock 20 ma ke to niche hoga fir in that case one minute yeah so this stock is below 20 moving average which is a sign of weakness then so i will wait then that it should at least come up above this point and maybe then i can trade this but right now it should not be traded same in ganekos also but it is somehow near its moving average so if it will you know break the high of this candle to wo moving average ke upar hi aa jayega okay next stock is sumit securities so in the last week IIFL Motilal Oswal I captured very nice momentum in Motilal Oswal so if I'll show you the chart of that I entered here I exited here I captured around 25% in just 3 to 5 days so so bay there is like one of the competitor so if you will see right now abhi isme kafi acha momentum aaya tha but uske baad is stock mein abhi because of market ye niche gaya why i can say that Uh, why i can say that is one second guys yeah sorry why i can say this is because abhi jab ye niche gaya to jo volumes tha that was ekdam kuch aaya hi nahi so iska jo next support zone is that is this so i hope you know that my supply supply demand is sab ko zyada nahi dikhta i just see that what is happening in the stock Because 95% of my trades I enter before the breakout, and uh, after that, जो भी somehow resistance जिसको बोला जाता है, वो break हो जाते हैं. So yeah, so you need to see that what exactly is happening right now. So अभी अगर मैं बात करूँ तो last time जो supply आया था, वो इस zone से आया था, और ये अभी उसी zone के आसपास है. तो अगर यहाँ पे आपको कुछ ऐसा action दिखता है that some volumes are coming in, and as I showed you that. जो मार्केट में रहते हैं शॉर्ट टर्म का दैट इज आल्सो यू नो एट अ पॉइंट जहां से रिवर्सल देखने को मिल सकता है सो दिस कैन बी अ गुड कैंडिडेट फॉर अ रिवर्सल ट्रेडिंग विद अ वेरी स्मॉल स्टॉप लॉस ऑफ यू नो 2 टू 3% सो या एंड द लास्ट स्टॉक इज आईईएफबी इंडस्ट्रीज आई होप ये तो आपको देख के पता चल रहा होगा दैट व्हाई इट इज इन माय वॉच लिस्ट बिकॉज़ वेरी गुड मोमेंटम विद वेरी वंडरफुल वॉल्यूम्स आई वुड से तो इफ आई टेल यू कितना वंडरफुल वॉल्यूम है तो ऑन दिस डे जो एवरेज था वो 86 के है बट ऑन दिस डे इट वाज 1.1 बिलियन व्हिच वाज लाइक मोर देन 12 13 टाइम्स देन द एवरेज व्हिच इज यू नो वेरी गुड एंड उसके अलावा ये स्टॉक अभी अपने मूविंग एवरेज 20 मूविंग एवरेज से आया है आसपास आया है एंड ये उसको रिस्पेक्ट करता है बार-बार सो प्रोबेबली इट शुड रिस्पेक्ट इट दिस टाइम आल्सो एंड मे बी अ स्मॉल यू नो अ पुल बैक कैन बी सीन Uh, which you can capture maybe with a very small stop loss so yeah and guys very important thing that in such market scenario if you are losing more than market if you are holding your losers believe me you can never become profitable because uh aap fir ek gambler theory se ja rahe ho in the market agar aapka portfolio down hai let's say 20 percent itne hi time mein then believe me you are just uh you know you need to learn i in one line either you need to learn or you should only invest in nifty bees why nifty bees because it's a you can say a copy trading of nifty but if your portfolio is down by more than 20 30% in just 2 3 days or if you are investing in markets from last 3 4 years still you are making losses then i think you should first learn you should read some books you should join some mentorships uh first learn because otherwise you will keep on losing your money and it's your hard earned money right and uh, as a trader your drawdown should also be less than the market otherwise you are not a trader you are just a a person who is having a good luck 
in a bull run and in the bear run you will turn yourself into a investor which that which doesn't make any sense so yeah also uh, if you are someone who is trading with his job or business so a link me dal dunga in the description so that's a free training link in which i have explained that how you can trade with your job and business without spending 3 hours in a week yeah that's all goodbye